komm her, mach's jetzt. Ja, prima. Hello and welcome back. My name is Vanessa Blank from Wild Woman Bushcraft. Today we make the next step with my shepherd dog puppy Ika because we spent the first night in the woods with a um, very light equipment. I want to build a shelter for us both and why we want to spend the night there and we have also something really delicious to eat. I cook tonight at uh, caveman style. So if you want, you can come with us. Aika, come, let's go. Here is in the middle of the forest a big hole. It would be perfect to camp there because um, nobody can see your camp until you come very close and also nobody can see the shine of the fire. There is enough building wood around. This here is a uh, spruce tree, so this is not so stable. Almost when it is rotten like here, but I will try it. And there are also many, many leaf trees and leaf trees have at the most time and harder wood, which is more stable. As I see the hole in the forest there, at first I thought I will build my camp there because, because it would be a nice place. But now I check the area around and here I found another great place. You can see the big rock here in the background and in front there is an open space. So I'm sure that someone else would want to build a camp there in the past because all those spruce, spruce trees are laying direct close to this place. But it, it is a long time ago because they are also rotten. So I will check this place out. Maybe I can camp there. Oh no, I just take a closer look to this place. So here's the rock in the background and it would be great to build a shelter here. Here you can lay down. But it is very important that you check the area around of your camp and you also took a look into the sky. So and this massive tree here is dead. So it would be very dangerous to sleep or camp here because you can see those roots. They are very flat around of this rock. This means that the roots are not going into the ground. And here is a small storm enough that this tree fall down. Yeah, I had to search for another place. Aika, ist schon gut. Ja, jetzt geht's weiter. Oh, perfect. Here is a fresh fallen spruce tree. And the needles of the spruce tree are perfect to cover the roof. So I am going back now to the hole in the forest that I showed you before. And then I search for the perfect place for the camp. 
And maybe I use these needles to cover my shelter or I use some bark or leaves. We will see. So I can get my mats. I choose this place here because I have today no string with me to build and construction only saw and axe. And in the hole there are so many leaves that the ground is so soft. Um, I was afraid that I can't build a um, massive construction there. So I choose this beech tree because here are massive branches and I can put one part of my construction here into this place between tree and branch. Ah, the combination heavy backpack, camera and a puppy was not really easy, so I'm very happy that I have a place where I can build my camp now. Um, so I want to build an easy construction without strings, only with branches and leaf and leaves and maybe from the fallen tree here in the background some needles. So I'm here very close to a meadow, so this here is the end of the forest. Then is there a meadow and at the other side there is again forest, so no streets or village. Um, but it could maybe be very loud this night because all the wildlife animals like deers or rabbits will come out of the wood and at the meadow in the evening hours. So maybe I can see some. So my plan is very simple. I want to use this tree, those branches and another massive branch for a lean-to shelter. So I want to put on one massive um, branch here and then all the others at the background. So it is very easy to build and I don't need so much time. Eike, brauchst du ein Bett? Hm? Soll ich dein Bett machen? Medi, schau mal. Eike, schau. Schau. Hier kannst du dich hinlegen. Hier ist dein Bett. Das ist dein Bett. Prima. Geh auf dein Bett. Eike hat heute zwei different Rope. Zwei different Ropes. Um, das Leder Rope, das ist unsere normale Rope. And those, this red one is a very long rope because Ica isn't able to run free in the woods. Um, another part is that it is not allowed in Germany that the dog is without a rope into the forest. Nine. So, and I had those long rope for her because so she can walk around this camp. Nine. <laughs> you want to play, I know. And um, so she can she can walk and also cannot run away. This is a perfect combination. Schau ja, hier. Der Stock. Ja. You have so massive teeth. No baby teeth anymore, hmm?
Oh my god. Ja, Eika, sorry, aber ich brauche den für mich selber, gern. I need this branch for my own. Ja, ich weiß, hilft nichts. Hilft gar nichts, Eika. Es ist verrottet. I thought this spruce tree is perfect because it is so long, but the under part here where the moss is, is complete rotten and not stable, so I had to cut it away. Schon gut, Eika. Schau mal, was ich da für dich hab. Magst du das? Da? Kannst du jetzt dran knabbern. I look around of my camp, there is so much wood, dead wood, but not so many pieces that I need, like this here. I need a massive branch, where is another branch? <laughs> a spork. So um, this here is a part of a beech tree and I want to check out the spork which is here on top. Maybe I can use this one. Ich pass auf, nicht dass ich dir weh tue. Sometimes you just need a little bit luck. So I was here and I have my thoughts by building the camp. Then I hear that a car arrived at the meadow. So and I be careful and watch out who is coming. And then I see, oh, it's the hunter. He had a massive blood dog with him and very beautiful dog. It was um, a silver shining skin but it was so high, <laughs> like a cow baby. Um, I'm not afraid of dogs, but when you see such a big dog, you need, oh, please be away from me. I had to be careful. So and at first I make the decision to be silent, watch out um, where he's walking. So there is a hunter house here in the back and he's watching the house. But his dog was really, really crazy because he smells Eika. So he ran around here at the meadow and I was afraid that he's come to us and maybe he don't like other dogs and it come to a fight. So I make the decision to um, go out and say hello. And he was asking what I'm doing here and I was honestly, I told him that I want to make a shelter here with only dead wood and I leave no tracks and no trash and um, if this is a problem, if I can stay there or not. 
And she said, yeah. Two trees away, there is his um, hunting area. And this year, not. So he said, it is no problem. I'm not interesting, interested in what you're doing. You can do whatever you want. This is not mine. <laughs> so this was a really great um, answer. And tomorrow I put away all my tracks. Nobody can see that I stay here and everything is fine. Sometimes I just had to talk with the people, tell them that you are not a bird person, that you don't destroy anything, that you don't leave trash and then everything is good. This branch was a little bit too high, so I cut away a small part. Next try. Besser. I hope you can understand me and I'm not crazy. I saw that this branch was not even. There was a small part which is too high. So I had to make it right. I had to cut it away. So my inner monk, my inner nerd said, mm -mm, you had to you had to repair it, you had to fit it, that it is perfect. <laughs> so in a survival situation, it is not really important how it looks. It should only work, but today I want to have it perfect. I think I have enough wood because I use those branches only as a construction to fix the spruce tree uh, branches. So um, I need too much wood for this shelter complete out of branches. So I make the decision that I cover it with the needle tree and yeah, it lays only seven meter away so I can bring it over very easy and then it is rainproof
building a natural shelter needs always so much time. In the video it is all so fast, but in reality you have to search the right, um, the right wood, then you had to saw it, cut it, then you had to bring it to the place where you want to build the camp, then you had to build the construction. <laughs> yeah, and finally I'm not ready, I had to cover it with the uh, spruce branches that the, needle, the needles construct on rainproof cover. So this beech branch here is for my sleeping area because the ground is not complete even and I want to put some of the spruce branches here. Then I cover it with leaves because the spruce had a lot of resin and I don't want to ruin my equipment. So I cover it with leaves and then I can sleep well on top of it. So let's go saw the needle tree branches. I hope I have enough branch, uh, branches. Oh, there are so many more, but I don't want to go anymore. I am powerless actually, so I want to cover the roof and then I want to make a break, make fire and make the delicious dinner.
For the dinner in caveman style, I need a big and I need long fire. So that means that I um, make here the campfire place. There are all leaves around, the ground is covered with leaves. So there is a risk that they burn. So I put them away and then I can start. I have already firewood, not enough, but for the beginning it is enough. And then let's start, I'm hungry. I have no pan to cook, so I need this one and a branch in the middle. Ika and I collect some stones for the campfire, so we have small stones and not enough. But um, this is all that we get and you had to use what you get. And um, those uh, rounding from the campfire is almost not so important because the sparkles don't fall here around at the ground. They, fall, they fly high and then they come back again to the ground and that it would really use, that it would really work, you had to make it in this hay. I need so much time for my food because today I make um, a roaster over the open fire and this time that I, when I prepare it the fire is going out, not complete but almost and now I had to start it again because otherwise I have no food.
the sun is getting down very slowly. So let's see if we can see later when the fire is out and it is complete silent, some wildlife animals. This plant here is called, here in Germany, Springkraut, that means jumping plant. And the name comes from the seeds, because when you touch them and they are ready, they pull out and the seeds are jumping everywhere. So this plant isn't originally growing in Germany and it grows really fast, needs a lot of space. And because of this, many people don't like this plant, but you can eat every part of it. The seeds taste like nuts. You can eat the flowers and the leaves, but not too much because otherwise you get a bad stomach. While I told you about the jumping plant, I can eat something here from the chicken. I don't like it because I would give her something because this is too much for me. But not raw and not without any question. So she is not allowed to food to eat whatever she wants. Uh, this is the first time that she is here at the campfire outside and the first time that the food is in front of her nose, but yeah, I hope that it never happened again. I told you that the underground from my shelter is a little bit uneven because of this I put here two branches from the spruce tree at the ground and cover it with leaves because I don't want to have some resin at my equipment. Yeah, now I can sleep in it. Um, maybe someone said why you don't choose an even ground. So I want to keep it simple today and I want to, I don't want to use strings, so I had the hope that I found one point in the nature which is very stable, like on a rock or a fallen tree or a branch like here. Today I have no isolation pad, I only have the blanket. Um, Aika is actually laying at this blanket and I want to put one part under my body, then I go into my sleeping bag. Aika is maybe laying at my feet and then I want to put the other part of the blanket over us that we both had it warm and uh, make us together warm. I hope that the chicken is soon ready because I'm so hungry and I cut too. Essen ist fertig.
Nein. Du wartest noch. Außerdem ist es heiß. So, Eika. Hm? Schauen wir mal, wie es ausschaut. Nein, 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 nein. Auf den Stock mal da. Das andere ist noch heiß, musst warten. Hmm. Wow, it is really loud here. This here actually is a plane, but um, yeah, I can't come here. But I hear a very, 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 very loud on the street. Uh, over the day I doesn't hear it, but now when everything's silent, I hear the street so loud. So our stomachs are full. I can eat much more than me. I don't know why, but um, I don't like the taste from the chicken today. Normally I love chicken, but today, yeah, I don't like it. So. Aika was very happy because she got so, so much. Hmm? Was then? When I am outdoors, I have in the evening hours, low hours, so there is nothing to do. You can only sit at the fire or going into the bed earlier. And I love those hours because in the normal life, you have no, I, or I have no space to take a deep breath and just relax and sit down, hear nothing, do nothing. <laughs> so when I am in the woods, I always have time to think about everything, about my life, about the world, um, or just sitting there and stare into the fire. And this is very, very, helpful for the soul and for the inner peace and um, as I'm sitting here I have two three thoughts about uh, I, um, about those thoughts I want to talk with you the first is that I've got in the last times under my I just hear something I've got under my posts, under videos, photos, sometimes comments about my weight. So people write me that I have not enough weight if I do not eat something or if I am ill or that see, they think that something is wrong with me. With me. Um, normally a YouTuber hasn't tell everything about their life but in this point I want to tell about it because I have no problem with it and um, maybe then are some people not afraid anymore so I have an illness since I was a teenager and this is called Hashimoto and this makes one of the things is that it, it makes that I cannot get much weight so I can eat what I want, I eat enough, I have time to eat, I eat fat things. Hey, I live in Bavaria, I had beer, I had Schweinsbraten and Knödel and um, Würstel mit Kartoffelsalat. <laughs> Everything fine, I eat enough and I eat a lot. And I don't want to give anything from my chocolate. So um, I just can't get more weight. But this is everything okay, everything normal. Of course, I'm, I have this illness, but 
it is okay. So don't be afraid. And then I want to talk with you about my video plans. Um, I always try to make different videos, to make videos about my life, about my lifestyle, about everything which is close to nature. And um, in the last times I do not often make bushcraft videos. And some of you write me that you missed the bushcraft videos. Yeah, you are right. Sorry. Um, Sometimes it is not so easy to go out for several hours or overnight and then I make other videos, but um, bushcraft is an important thing about from my channel. It is wild woman bushcraft, so I had to make bushcraft videos and of course I love to do it, but sometimes it is not possible. But in the future you will see more bushcraft videos here at my channel. So it is also important for me to go out in the woods because I love to do it and um, there's only one point that I also had to tell you I have planned on um, several videos for a long time I had to make I, I make I made plans and I create everything I bought a lot and uh, finally I can start those videos and those videos are going about prepping, be prepared and on um, um, a backpack in which is everything that you need when you had to leave your home. Um, and this is not a new thing, it is not about, it is, it is about uh, actually situation but not all about it because I created such a backpack seven years ago and I made a video about it uh, at this time only in German because I don't have this English channel um, and you know that I do a little prepping at home long-term food and self-sufficiency and ah, uh, you know it so it is not a new thing for me but I want to create something new and I want to finish it and now the time is there and I want to start I want to start making these videos and you will see those videos in the next weeks. Uh, but of course not only about this theme, also about everything what you see at my channel Bushcraft and something else. So now you know what, what my plans are and that I want to make more bush, Bushcraft videos in the next times. I promise you. It is getting fresh. There is some strong wind into the tree crones and it's cold now. I only have those pullover with me, no jacket because I thought it is warm at the fire. But I had to, I, I, I let the fire go, in, go out because when there, the wind blows so strong it is not so good. So often there are coming very strong wind blows suddenly and then all the sparkles are two meters away and this is too dangerous. So I make fire in the woods but I make unsafe fire. And this wind let me make the decision to let, go, let the fire go out. And this also means that I had to go into the bed. I just put some more leaves uh, in the sleeping area because I have no isolation pad today with me and it's not so comfortable. <laughs> so um, with more leaves it would be better. My shelter is a little bit too high. It is like this and it should be like this because then I am more protected from the wind and from the rain. But I have those great beech trees around and the leaves from them uh, hold the rain away. I hope so. So we see us when I am in the bed. So, Eikakum, du musst jetzt da runtergehen. Ja, ich weiß. 
Ah, komm her. Decke brauchen wir jetzt. Guck, ist das gleich wieder. So. Schlafsack. It is a little bit special to sleep like this um, because it is not so easy with a dog. And with the blanket under me, the sleeping bag around me. So the sleeping bag is actually also around from Aika because she wanted. And on top of us both is the blanket. So actually it is pretty warm. Icar has a great body temperature <laughs> for outdoors. So I hope we sleep well and we see us tomorrow in the morning when the sun is there, not earlier. And my back doesn't hurt too much tomorrow because I sleep without the sleeping bath pad. So enough talk. Good night. We see us. Naika? Jo, es ist so schwer für dich. Jetzt schlaf mal, oder? Muss die Augen zu. Jo. Ist so schwer. Hm? Good morning. I wake I woke up because of the continually wind in the leaves. Normally when I woke up it is complete silent. I, I only hear the, the the birds noise. But today we have an wind, not on storm, it is only wind. But I feel pretty safe here under those beech trees because there are no dead branches on top and beech trees is on very hard wood so it needs a lot of big thunderstorm till they broke and when I close my eyes I feel like I am at the ocean with the wind and the leaves I love this noise and I love autumn fall the colors the wind the storms. I love this time of the year. Yeah, what should I say? The night was not the best one. I sleep other times better outside, but this has only one simple reason. Aika was laying the full night at my um, at my legs, and so I can't move my body in the night. Normally, I always switch the side, sleep at the back, sleep at uh, the side. But today I don't move enough, so every bone and every muscle hurts. I need an extra sleeping place for Aika, so this isn't something for a long time, because it is very important that I sleep well outside. It is very important when I am on several day trips that I feel good at the next day that I have, that I, um, yeah, when I'm tired, nothing really works. Hmm, Aika? Yeah, but Aika was really, really good. Oh, my muscles. Um, in the evening hours, when the camp is ready, when it is getting dark, she was the whole time here at the camp and was quiet and relaxed. By the building process, she was always uh, wake up around restless but now she feels safe and she feels good actually she is biting at 
the branch on which the chicken was. Yeah, I think she liked it. It was a good idea to bring also the sleeping bag because normally I would only... Uh, my plan was only to sleep in the blanket. But then I thought maybe Iker is moving a lot in the night and then um, I am the, at the air and not under the blanket and my muscles get cold and uh, my muscles hurt the next day. So <laughs> they hurt also with the sleeping bag but it was not cold this night. So it was a good choice. Okay, I remove everything now and it is time to leave. I have no tracks. Um, of course, the spruce branches will lay there and not where the, fall, the, the tree is falling down. Uh, so can some animals find their own place for the winter. Okay, pack our stuff and done. Go home. If you don't want to miss a video from me, click to the subscribe button. And if you like the video, please thumbs up. So thank you for watching and I hope we see us again in the next video. Have a great time. Bye bye. Come on, come.